one key question with remittances is the, um, the potential evolution of the banking system to both facilitate remittances and to accommodate them. So uh, if a household is receiving remittances, it's, it's much easier if that household has a bank account uh, in order to receive those remittances and to hopefully uh, either invest them or have them have a productive impact on, on the economy. And so banks are aware that remittances are increasing in the global economy. They themselves are starting to get in the business of, of trying to facilitate those flows. Um, but there are important policy discussions that are in the works right now. And it's helpful for me to sort of understand from the banker's perspective what those, what those decisions are. So for example, there's a lot of concern right now about money laundering and terrorist financing and illicit finance. Um, and banks therefore have to be very careful about tracking who their customers are, um, who the endpoints are of any sort of financial transaction. And there's concern that the, those very well-meaning regulations could inhibit the flow of remittances because remittances are, are flows between these sort of random people out in wherever countries that they might be in, in, in the, the Gulf or in the United States. Um, and if they have to go through uh, a lot more paperwork or face higher costs as a result of these regulations, then basically the, the well-meaning regulations in the banking system to try to prevent money laundering and terrorist financing could be inhibiting this lifeline to developing countries. So the, the challenge is whether banks are going to be central in this process or whether migrants are going to find other tools and other transmission mechanisms to send their money back home. So we're seeing the rise, especially in, in poorer countries, of using cell phones uh, to transfer money. And the cell phone technology that's available now potentially works through the banking system, but it's not clear whether it's putting the banking system sort of front and center in that transaction or kind of uh, uh, sort of working alongside it uh, or bypassing it uh, because of the higher costs associated. Um, so it'll be interesting for, for me to see in the future just how banks navigate that new landscape.